family at Iridium. Hope you're doing all right today. It's reaction time. So the band 10 and the song Fearless. It's going to be on their forthcoming album, Here Be Monsters, released early next year. Um, Andrew Barker sent me a, a message saying about this song, that I'd love it. Hopefully I will. Um, but obviously I've got a, also got an email from Frontiers about it as well. So I thought, yes, I know the band. I haven't heard a lot of their stuff. British band, um, AOR, Melodic Rock. But, you know, always excited to hear new stuff, especially from the Brits. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of good British stuff coming out lately. So it's time to promote that stuff. So hopefully, if it's good, that is. So um, this is 10 and Fearless. Here we go. pinpoint a band who they're like you know what i mean and just compare them this is one of them bands in it that that sort of stand on their own a little bit i love the sort of great there's some great guitar work um and it's really sort of brought on great by that brilliant production you can hear it really sort of work in a way sort of busily in the background but it doesn't do too much to um affect the song in any way it's about the song it's almost feels a little bit progressive. I think, I know it's not progressive as in odd time signatures and, you know, lots of different stuff going on. 
but it's almost the feel of it is a little bit progressive. And I think that comes from the vocals as well. He's got a great vocal. I think it's Gary Hughes, isn't it? Um, the vocalist, I might be wrong on it. He's got really nice, smooth vocal. Um, it's sort of a combination of a lot of stuff. Melodic rock it feels a bit proggy, but I know, you know, that, that might be wrong, but definitely in the melodic heart rock, maybe not so much hard rock vein, but it sort of feels to me, it's got that little proggy feeling. I don't know why. But I can't pinpoint them, and I don't want to. They, they, you know, this is sort of standalone, very standalone. In the plethora of loads of bands that are sort of starting to sound the same, but these are very sort of, you know, standalone, like I said, and I like it. It sounds very individual, which is great. So let's listen to the rest of this. There's still plenty of time to go and all. Absolutely loved it. I mean, it just that, that chorus was a real grower as well as the song went on. Absolutely loved it. Repeated a couple of times there, which was good. I think it sort of um, needed that sort of by the time the last chorus come, I was right into it. They did remind me a little bit of the band Heartland album out recently, Into the Future, a little bit. But if I want to try and stretch to sort of compare them to anyone that's what i'm saying but no i absolutely loved it had loads of melody in there the guitar solo the extended solo was amazing coming in and out of little twin lead parts i don't know if there's two guitars or if he's overlaying the uh, guitars but the guitar solo was just 
outstanding. I love I love his vocal, man. It's sort of like a really understated. He keeps it at that lower level, but he doesn't need to go and stretch or anything like that. I think it really suits the music, that feel of the music. I don't know if I, I don't know what if it sounds proggy or not. I think it's just me. I think it's because it's something different. It, it's sort of giving me the proggy feelings of the piano going over it all the way through near enough. Really important instrument on this. Obviously, the keys are in this band. But great, great song. Thanks, Andrew. I would have reacted to this anyway, but thanks for prompting me a little bit more. Frontiers, this is coming out. I forgot, I forgot to mention that early next year. So look out for this one. Um, 10, uh, this one's Fearless. And it's from the album here, The Monsters. There you go. Have a look out for this one. What do you think of this song? Put it in the comments below. I'll see you next time.